Hello and welcome to our first review on the bookshelf. Uh, before we go any further, I just wanted to say that this is a no budget production. It's just me in my lockdown loungewear and a rather tacky prop. Thank you. Anyway, the book I'd like to talk about today is this. The Ghosts of Amberley House by Nikki Joy. And I have to say, I enjoyed it immensely. Uh, so, to the review, uh, this book is, in my opinion, light in tone. It's easy to read and understand, which is quite surprising given the storyline and the story matter. Um, it could easily be described uh, as an authoritative guide to the spiritual world, things that many of us neither comprehend nor believe. Um, but Nikki has a gift for understanding this otherly world and takes us on an adventure of romance through the ages with exquisite detail from meticulous research. And yet, how can you research something that is supposed to be spiritually close by, but to my mind is so far away from comprehension? I venture an opinion, of course. I am no doubt incorrect uh, with my immovable view on all matters of a ghostly nature. But Nikki does seem to understand such matters and has crafted a romantic tale from the muted threshold of her doorway to another world. The distinct and well-drawn characters uh, are just like anybody else. They're easily recognisable. They're just people who want to find love, an identity, they want to fulfil their potential and have some stability in their life. Ordinary characters um, who go or are immersed in an extraordinary situation. It's very interesting. It's, it makes you think, it makes you scratch your head uh, or your face, whichever. And it's I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. But in addition to the main story, oh, which is detailed, uh, I have to say, beautifully, because at the beginning of every chapter, there's a little quote. And this one here, don't know if you can see that, is from Michelangelo. And also, there's a little symbol there, which apparently is something to do with witchcraft or magic or something or other um, and it means something of course but the detail exquisite detail makes the book even more enjoyable in my view uh, now in addition to that main story there are also interwoven lots of little story there's a backstory if you like numerous stories uh, of other ghostly events that intertwine into the ghost of Amberley House uh, it's set in Tapley, as you may recognise from the, from the picture, uh, Tapley Hall. Uh, and it's made me want to go back to Tapley again and think, oh, yes, yes, that's where this happened. And that's where, well, where it's supposed to have happened. It's fiction, of course. Uh, but you never know. Uh, you may feel something if you go to these little places within Tapley and the grounds. So I'm looking forward to doing that in the spring when we're out of lockdown. Uh, it's also based around a fictional town called Duxbury, which is Biddeford. And the backstory of these other ghostly stories is beautifully woven into the fabric of the main story. Uh, stories from past, one or two that tap into the future. And all of it is, is perfectly believable. And it makes you think when you walk down the high street, ooh, I wonder, or if you go into the library uh, next time. Um, highly recommended. It got me really intrigued and very interested in the topic of ghosts and spirits and things. Uh, and it left me a little bit warm and fuzzy, not scared or anything, um, although a little bit creepy in places, I have to say. And if you want the total authoritative guide uh, to all things on the other side, then look out for the chapter on Tom. Tom is my, well, he's just my favourite ghost, if, if you can have such a thing. Uh, but Tom, I loved him, I think. He's not, anyway, that's another story again. 
highly recommended. It's a great book available from, you scroll down, scroll down the old page and find this, tap on it, you'll get to Nikki and be able to contact her, get a copy of the book, $7.99. Uh, obviously there'll be postage if it's posted, but I have to tell you, you can get this from Complete Computing uh, in Old Town, Biddeford, uh, post free. Uh, there are some copies in there. Uh, it's a shop that's open. It's essential at this time of uh, lockdown. And also, uh, you can do it on your daily exercise. You know, put it on your little walking circuit. Pop in, get yourself a copy. Highly recommended. Thank you. So, until next time, I'll leave you with this. The Ghosts of Amberley House. Enjoy. Until next time.